Welcome, everyone, and internet to episode 28 of Sis and Big Pops Culture. Woo-hoo! I am Big Pops Todd Turner, also known as Mosaic Fan Art, and as always, my lovely co host. <laughs> Hi, friends. I am Sis, aka Hannah Joe, and together we are an adult daughter and father duo. We dive into all things geek, nerd, and fandom. Every episode is family friendly. So, friendly pops. for the family. Indeed. So, Indeed. Li- um, uh, one of my guys I follow on he, on uh, uh, his podcast, he always calls everybody fam. Okay, fam. And they're taking like a two-month uh, break, and I'm like devastated. But anyway. Aww, that is really sad. Okay. We are not taking a two-month break. No. We took a couple-week break. We, But that was a while ago. That was a, but now, was a couple weeks ago. Now. We back. We back. By popular demand, LOL. LOL. All right. <laughs> okay, so today, as per the usual, you know what's up, our sweet friends. We are going to talk about some nerd news. We're going to talk about what we're binging and what Dad has pulled, what Big Pops has pulled for us from comic his book comic stash. <laughs> Indeed he do. And we're going to talk about The Incredibles 2, as well as the It's an incredible first- night. As well as, yeah, Incredible Hulk. Uh, the Mortal Hulk, more like. Yes. The Mortal Spooky Hulkness. Spooky Hulk. We have been reviewing a lot of horror comics. I know. And we're This is apparently friendly. supposed to be a horror comic. I didn't know that. I mean, I did. I, I quickly learned okay. as to why. But we're not there yet. We start with news. No. Yes. News. What do you have for us, Dad? <laughs> Nerd news. Hello, Where's straight in from the news desk. This is straight Todd in, Turner reporting from, from Nerd the news, news. Desk. <laughs> You're funny. Um, so did you hear they're I making hear. a SpongeBob spin-off cartoon? About what? <laughs> you just went to what? I'm sorry. The, but yeah. why? The Patrick Star show. Okay, is it gonna be like Oprah? Because that would be funny. It's going to be a young Patrick Starr at home doing his own talk show. Okay, good. Hosts a show as because young Patrick I'll, Starr. I might watch. I would watch that. That's That sounds hysterical. Yeah. So De- It depends. It depends. I, I don't know. Apparently, SpongeBob has gone downhill. I haven't watched SpongeBob I, in forever. I don't watch it. Big I shot. mean... I know SpongeBob, and a lot of his stuff is really funny. His stuff, like SpongeBob is a guy. Sponge, SpongeBob himself is writing the show. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, there you go. Love also, SpongeBob. apparently Nickelodeon is they're redoing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series. Okay, how do you feel about that? Well, I don't know, but Seth Rogen is producing it. Okay, then it should be good. But it's I watched, supposed to be. I watched that weird one with Megan Fox. Okay, but it's supposed to be, I don't know. I think it's supposed, that's a, not a, that's, that, that wasn't animated. No, I told you I, I, I was, I was making gotcha. an aside. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be family friendly or not, but it's for Nickelodeon. So it's got to be Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon friendly. It is family friendly, man. That's how yeah, Nickelodeon something rolls. Of that nature. Something of that nature. Yeah. yeah. Um, Amazon bought MGM. Yeah, for like for nine billion dollars. Eight point four five billion dollars. Billion dollars. Billion dollars. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I just felt like it needed to be said. That's yeah, a lot that's of craziness. Money. Well, that's because remember? everybody's going to own something now. You know. Yep. There's only going to be like three or four main. Well, that's how it used to be with our news, the big five news things. Actually, I learned about there that. Were just, there three. Were just three. Three, and then there were five. Because yeah. I learned about that when I took intro to communications for my freshman year of college when I thought I was going to be a broadcast journalist. And now you are. <laughs> Full <laughs> circle. <laughs> Just broadcast journalism. In no way is this broadcast journalism. We've talked sure about is. how we are. <laughs> sure cast. it is. Come on. <laughs> our, our six followers. We had 23 downloads. What does that mean? 23 different people downloaded episodes. It was probably podcast. me on four different <laughs> phones. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Just to make sure it worked. That's okay. Um, 
uh, since we're since I, we we're talking about that um, and the animation stuff, so you do you do you know what garbage pail kids are? Yeah. Remember, I I don't know. I had the stickers and I yeah. sold them all on eBay, which was dumb. I should have kept all my stuff I sold on eBay. That was a stupid idea. I know but anyway, all of it. I know. Or um, all of anyway, it. I mean, I don't know. You get Danny McBride. Choices. We talked about him because he was the voice of the dad in the Mitchells versus the Machines. Yes. He was also on like Hot. Tropic Thunder. He's been in a lot of these movies. Anyway, he is um, writing and producing an HBO Max cartoon all on the Garbage Pail Kids. And it's, a, really? it's supposed to be family friendly in all ages. So that's funny. I know because I loved Garbage Pail Kids. They were so fun. They were like wacky packages back. So anybody who's my age, you know, they. I know, I know of Garbage Pail Kids. I never collected yeah, well, any of them, but I know I of lived them. It. I lived it, Dottie. Don't don't quote the old to me, which I was there when it was written. I don't know. Aslan says from? something like that. Narnia. Oh, I that watched right? that recently. Yes. Don't That's quote the ancient texts. The I don't know. But he like I was there. He like growls at her. <sighs> it was. It was L O L. Not that kind of growl. Dad, That's no, I hated growl. it. Please okay. don't ever do that again. Okay, I won't. At okay, least what else news format. you got? Um. There, there's, there's a movie being made called Wonka about Willy yes, Wonka. Yes, I saw that with Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. What the heck? As Willy oh, Wonka. Which, by the way, I just He's found out that, that the Dune movie is only the first half of the book. It's like Dune Part One. Oh no! How do you feel about yes. that, Dad? Well, I feel a little bit better because one of the characters in Dune they don't. That's really key Wasn't to Dune. Wasn't in any of the commercials they, don't, they haven't even said who's been cast as, as okay the that character. makes a lot of i mean i don't that book is a thick book and that movie's a long movie you gonna pull out dune i got dune the book yeah it's i was gonna say thick. i've dusted that thing a multitude of times <laughs> <laughs> that's a thick yeah, book so, i know that it is uh, the character of fade ralpha who is basically the antithesis of um, the foil yes perhaps he played by sting in that well I don't know. If, I wouldn't call him the foil, but he's the right? antithesis. No, that's, the, that's, the, that's what a foil is, right? I understand that, but there's so many things that go up against him. We're going to just do an entire Dune okay. episode one I'm day. I'm stoked I have the comic books. That. I know you do because I found them. Yes, a court day. I found them a court day for you. That was a I good was like, bargain. Dad. I wanted more books that day, but that guy was a turd nugget. We're not allowed to say he that would, word. You're allowed to say nug. Nugget. He was a nug. He wouldn't deal with me so i was he like wasn't, he wasn't gonna finagle with you i was like pops. good riddance fella um apparently they're i don't i don't know what this means and i didn't google it i could have googled it i just didn't want to oops, apparently sorry. they're what? making a highlander remake oh, you which is know. a movie that came out in like 1986 oh, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. stop 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 you don't know what highlander is should i know what that is i know the mel gibson oh. movie braveheart yeah no Oh, we got to watch Highlander and I talk don't. about it. Oh, okay. You know a movie's going to be good if it starts in the parking garage during a Queen concert. Oh, this isn't about like Scottish people? It is. But what happens is there is a group of people that have more, they live forever. Oh, no. But Immortals. what they do is they go and they kill each one of them. And then the last person living then can live a normal life. But until then, they live for each other, and they have to cut each other's mm. heads off. Ugh. It's a great movie. Highlander it's, is fantastic. They're doing a remake, and Henry Cavill has been cast in it. Oh, yeah. Well, he's Superman, so. Well, he was. Not anymore. They get rid of him. Yeah. Is it Cavill or Henry Cavill? Henry. Oh, Cavill. Cavill. Yeah. Hello Whatever. at me. Speaking of people who's now. How about uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson being cast as Craven the Hunter? Do you even know who that is? Nope. I do not. Okay. Is, that in that, is that in Carnage? I see him behind you. Um, no, but I just put Carnage because it, Carnage. It was easy and it was light and I could carry it upstairs. Well, um, there's more news about that movie, but I didn't write it down. Okay. Yeah. We. So Sorry. Sony owns all the Spider-Man characters, which yes. is why they're doing Venom and now Carnage. And yes. So basically there's Spider-Man movies without Spider-Man. Because M Mobius, remember I talked to you about mm -hmm. the the you did 
Yeah, I'm with the, you. Like Dracula guy that Jared Jared Leto is playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are all characters that spun out of the Amazing Spider-Man series. Cool. Craven the Hunter is like fantastic, um, and he basically hunts Spider-Man. He hunts game, and it's really disappointing that we're gonna have a Craven the Hunter that doesn't hunt Spider-Man. What is he gonna I hunt? Know I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel Are about that. Are you sure it's not going to be Spider-Man? Pretty darn sure. Hmm. Yeah. And it's, they chose hmm. the dude that played kick yes. but, but, and I can't say that other word since we're family friendly. <laughs> and, um, you know, he was in like Age of Ultron for 30 seconds and then got killed off. And he was also in. Um, yes, the, the terrible Godzilla. Godzilla movie. The first Godzilla movie was good. It was above average. The first Godzilla movie was not bad. Okay, so they the dude from Breaking Bad, they make it seem like he's going to be the big star of the movie, and then 30 minutes into it, they kill him. I thought that was a big letdown. I don't. I didn't know him or okay. care, I guess. <laughs> I cared. I'm sorry. I thought sorry. the weirdy thing about that is, is that the husband and wife team in uh, Godzilla ended up being brother and sister in Age of Ultron. And I was like, I don't know if you, I can We did have a conversation that. about that. That was really funny. That was okay. one of the Olsen, that was an Olsen girl. Uh, did you hear they're making Temple Run into a game show? I'm sorry, like one what? Of those, like one of those competitive games. Like, what are you going to do? Because like, it's just somebody, I don't know. are you going to have to run on a treadmill and like move? <laughs> I don't know. But it's like that by one, those people that do like, like American like a, Ninja like extreme, Warrior. Okay, so exact exactly like what I said. Like they're just gonna exactly, be on like <laughs> exactly they're what's just gonna said. be running on like a really big treadmill and yeah. have to like swing on oh, a well. thing. And I I'm trying like, to remember Temple me? Run because that was when I was in like high school. I remember Peter Hall doing um, the youth um, conference and using Temple Run as a a teaching tool and it was the first time i saw somebody mirror something from an ipad up to a big screen and i thought oh, how do you this do is, that this, is so cool. this who this what is, is this witchcraftery this is, this is witchery. it's a witchery woman witchery i don't, know. don't well i want to know what he i'm gonna have to go back and like watch that like 10 second clip from narnia just to make sure i'm sorry i feel like i'm like hating on all the things you're saying today dad but no, i tell you what i've seems, got one you're gonna like it's so that, that I, that's just when you said it was gonna be like i thought it was gonna be like ellen's game of games or something like that and i'm like it's oh, just gonna be lame but if it's like it ultimate too, ninja warrior then I that's people like are that. gonna go hard on that man and i'm yeah, down for that that might be it yeah I'm sure somebody's going to get hit in the head with something or in the privates and end up in a battle water. I'm sure that Always. happens on all of them. Always. Man. Um, so my last bit of news is that they are doing um, a, a Koya, which is the head of the Wakandan guard spinoff. Yes. For Disney Plus. Yes. Did you She's, see that? She has the scene breakdowns of her fights and how she uses because she's she's bald and she wears a wig. And, and the scene. Oh, that was in that first movie. In the oh, yeah. so good. <laughs> I was like, that's terrible. Just let a. a I mean, it's just so a, cool. There's, there's, it was there's so bald cool. Women that look good bald. Just no, let them be bald. No, that's, Don't make that's them wear the a thing. This, There was the scene think, breakdown that somebody did about her like fighting style. It was like the director, or the I don't, I don't remember who it was, mm -hmm. but I watched it on YouTube. It was really cool. Crouching Tiger, uh, Hidden Toupee. I don't know. Wig. That's exactly what it is, Dad. That's what it's. That's the type. hundred and ten percent. That's what it is. You got any more news? No, I'm out of news. Hannah, what are you watching? What's um, binge worthy? So I've been. I moved. So those of you who are watching on Facebook or YouTube, clearly this is not the place you are used to seeing me in. This is my new living space. Here is my living room. I'm sitting at the dining room table because my Wi-Fi doesn't reach to my desk. It does, but I'm worried. I was worried about it. And so I decided not to. Do Anywho. Anyway, so I was watching. I didn't really watch much. Um, finished a season of Ruby and shoot dang. Bonkers shenanigans. Is that right? Bonkers shenanigans. Indeed. I am 10 out of 10 here for it. I love it so much. The well, animation good, has gotten so much better. They did a revamp of all of their, we start, what season, I can't, season five, I think. I think season five. Okay. 
and oh my goodness gracious they changed their outfits and their outfits look really good i'm a fan i'm not just not a big anime person i try this, I, I mean, really do try this is i, I mean, saw it, where demon slayers getting funko pops dope yeah i am you know what i'm 10 out of 10 here for it i think the story is really good it's it gets progressively weirder which i think is good because if it was this weird at the beginning of all anime what you just named 95 percent. it of just all gets anime. progressively weirder and i am like already into it i'm like yeah okay sure i got you okay yeah that makes sense what no like it's just mm, here for it 10 out of 10 here for it and the fight sequences are so cool and i love it so much it's so good uh that's funny i haven't watched any suits since the last time we talked i watched a couple episodes of gravity falls just for background no noise there was an episode called summer ween just like halloween okay that sounded in the really <laughs> inappropriate i didn't know i was like what but in the summer months gotcha. it was really funny the guy bad guy funny. in that was all of the candy at the bottom of the bag that everybody throws out. It became a monster sitting in the oh, dumpster because like that terrible like peanut butter flavored yes. candy in their black and orange rolls. With the black licorice and I, all of the stuff. He's like, oh, I am made of that candy. I, I like I like that peanut butter stuff. Cracked me up like an egg. I was cracking up. It was so funny. And it was nice. spooky at first and then it wasn't. Gotcha. So, I haven't been watching TV really. I'm trying to think. It's I just think I, I know. A movie too. I feel like Hercules. I'm working outside all the time. You but have the pool done though, pops. No, not the area. It's got really? a lot of work to go. Yeah. Well, yeah. it looks good from the pictures Thank mom's you. been sending. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I am. We have watched Return to Me. Oh, that movie. The, oh, that movie. I love that movie. It is so good. Oh, man. Um, it hurts my heart. It, oh, that's funny because it's all about a <laughs> heart transplant. <laughs> oh, no. That was awful. That was if really bad. You guys bad, have not I'm watched so Return sorry. to Me. People listening, you should. It's really good. And it's a, it's a sort of like it's, a romantic movie. I watched that I when I was say a kid, comedy, though. But it is a comedy, but it's not. It's very, it has very serious issues. Um, um, a guy loses his wife, mm, and sad. but she donates her heart. And um, he ends up falling in love with the girl who received her Was heart. Was the recipient. Which, that's why it's called Return to Me. The Okay, and that is great. The movie is directed and stars in by Bonnie Hunt. She wrote, directed, the whole thing. I didn't and, know she wrote and directed it. Yeah. Um, the old guys. Are hysterical. Are hysterical. So Carol O'Connor, and I believe Loja is in it. I can't remember. Anyway. He's like an Irish guy that owns an Italian restaurant. <laughs> and it's, they are so funny. There's like four of them and they play cards and everything. And it's really good. So we watched that. Um, Nathan and I watched Dune again. Yeah. Sorry. Watched it again. Um, you don't have to be we sorry for watching that. We watched a movie on Disney Plus. What was called it? Called Safety. I saw that. That got like advertised to me, but I didn't okay. watch it. It's it's based on a true story about a um a college football player who ends up because of his brother getting ready to go into foster care ends up you taking credit, me about credit this. taking a guardianship of him and sneaking him into his dorm. Based on a true story, by a Clemson football player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then the NCAA are like, well, you can't do that. He's receiving benefits. And then they wanted to kick off. They wanted to penalize the team. It's the NCAA is crazy. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Haven't really been watching any TV or anything like that. Just flipping through, just putting movies on in the background. Uh, Mark said best. David, I'm going to say this wrong. Um, Duchovny? Duchovny. David Duchovny. Movie out there along with a great soundtrack. Oh, it is a great soundtrack. Um, so David Duchovny is also in like a weird movie with um, where it's like a sci-fi movie. Not, I'm not talking about X-Files. David Duchovny starred in X-Files along with oh, Karen. Cool. You like Karen. that. I did like X-Files for a while until he got, till he was off the show and I quit watching it. But yeah, it is the best David Duchovny movie out there. I 100% I agree with that. And um, Jim Belushi is in it. He's so good. I, the, I just love it. It's fun. Your mom and I laugh. We cry. My favorite we, is her... Is is the guy there at her restaurant for a date, 
and then his date is being a turd. And oh, so she wants, she, I want she, water, she, not she tap wants water, water, but not tap water. And then she takes a water bottle, empties it out and fills it with <laughs> tap water. And the guy sees her doing it and is just, just laughing. Like, OK, like, OK, yeah, girl, you cool. go. Yeah. And, just, oh, it's and then the girl takes the water and sips it. She goes, She's oh, like, no, this oh, is this, delicious. This, this is exactly, is exactly what, what I wanted. What I wanted. And I was like, yeah, right. All right. Yep, that's Hysterical. it. OK. Comic book. Pool time. list. What is a pool list, dad? So a pool list is a list of comic books that is way too long that... You said that right when I was taking a drink of water. Sorry, that my pool list is like... That list table. past week was the most expensive <laughs> pool money I spent on comic books at one sitting, I think, ever. And I was like, oh, You need gosh. to get a smaller pool list then, Dad. I got it. How? And then I, I went know. literally... so. A pool list is you <laughs> you set down a, a list of comic books that you want to get every month or when they come out. You give them to your local comic book shop owner, and he pulls them before they get put out in the normal stock, normal normal shelving. So, and my pool list is twice Very as long, long as it should be. My pool twice list is just one comic, and I'm I can go get it. I googled it, and my comic should have come out, and so I think I can go get it. Though I still haven't read this because I don't. I've, Probably I think I can now. have fifty or sixty comic books on my pool list. Daddy, that's a lot. That's I, I mean, it's too many. Maybe it's not a lot. It is a lot. It, it wouldn't be a lot if I was getting paid to review comic books, but I'm not. So anyway, it was hard for me to pick because I had like literally a stack three inches tall. You get one comic, I got like twelve, thirteen. Well, two of them I, I haven't even got I to would read really yet. Enjoy doing Wonder Girl. Like, I think I would have yeah. a fun time collecting Wonder hers. Wonder Girl's good. So I'm going to run down just my top ones. Um, run run uh, it down for us, Dad. So I chose, list for us. I chose, this is something, too. I'm going to try to do this from now on. I chose two from the big two. Okay, love that. Big two being Marvel, Marvel Comics and, and DC. DC Comics, because they have out the most. I'm going to do two independents, and then my book of uh, either my number book one and my book of the week. So let me go with a Marvel book first. Okay. And, um, uh, and this is issue three. Marvel, we talked about it, has the rights to Alien and Predator. Yes. So the issue, the third issue of the Alien comic book came out. And this is by far the best Alien property use since the second Alien movie. Um, it, the art is fantastic. The story is great. It is true to the original and the second movie. Um, we hmm. get a pop-up of a character at the end, a big reveal at the end of a character from the original movies shows hmm. up um, okay. to help the people. And um, yeah, the art is so good. This guy writing it, the guy drawing it's named Salvador La Roca. Hmm. And, um, cool. Yeah. So I, I, I would suggest anybody who loves Alien... I would go out and get these and start reading these books because it's okay. the best alien thing. And and I'm old, so I was there when they came out. You Dad, haven't even seen the first. I alien haven't movie. seen any of them. We need to watch the first one. I we need know to watch Highlander. that one of a girl gets pregnant? Sigourney. Question mark. And an alien pops out of her belly. No. Right? Is that a different movie? That's in the third movie. Oh, well, then I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, Sigourney Weaver is the star of these movies. I know she's part. in like a mech suit or something. That's in the second one. Yeah. Okay. I know I know Sigourney Weaver is in a mech suit because it was really funny because she was also in a mech suit in Avatar. There you go. Yes, that's funny. Um, my One of mine from DC, which I've talked okay. about before, is... Teen Titans Academy issue three, oh, yeah. three came out as well. We had briefly talked about the girl with the um, who had lost both of her legs being a speedster. Remember? Yeah, we and she about was that. getting she had special she had special legs made. Yes. Cool. Do you know who gave her the legs? Iron Man. Nope. DC. No, no idea. DC. Who is the worst possible person who will hold anything over you and make you to be on her team? Catwoman. Amanda Waller. I don't the know suicide Squad. Oh, the lady no. who runs Suicide Why Squad. Why does she got to be doing that? Yes. No, but ma'am. You really come to find out there is a it's a pretty much a tragedy that she um she was not born a double amputee. 
that like uh, bad people did that to her. Oh, that makes me. Really and she's sad. Australian, but anyway, um, Australian, mate. this book we get a lot of info on that, and the uh, the good thing about it is we actually see the students come together to fight and use some of their powers. Oh, that's cool. So Gorilla Greg. Gorilla Greg. Gorilla, is, he, like, is he a gorilla named Greg? It is. Somebody <laughs> says, um, there are intruders. There are intruders in Gorilla Greg. Goes, there's this many that of way. them on this floor. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That's so cool. Um, so um, I had two number ones from an independent. I'll go okay, with the first are, one. Can I guess Boom Studios or Image Comics? Uh, one's from Vault and one's from Image. Ha. So... Um, these are my number ones, and they're both independents. For you're the, like you're like week. book of the week, book of the week. No, not my book of the week. Um, <laughs> well, then that's so not number one. Oh, you mean first? They're issue. number ones. They're my okay. favorite number ones. You said these are my number ones, and I was like, oh, these they're are my two number one favorite issues. things. But Stop we it. were using different words gotcha. to mean this is different. Same word to mean different things. So so this Oops. is from Image Comics. It's okay. called. It's a comic book called Made in Korea, and cool. um, it's set in the future where people can't have children. And okay. they are buying AI children. Oh, I hate it. In- so it's Made sort of Korea. like there was a movie called AI. Right. So they're made in Korea. Correct. But what happens is there's there's like, we don't really know the full story. And I don't know if my pull list can necessitate Grow. me continuing to read this, but I really want to because I'm intrigued by the first issue. Um one of the people who does um, software work on them has been trying to figure out this algorithm. We don't know what it's for, what it's to. Could it be a cure for why these people aren't having children? Does it have something mm. to do with the way the robots work? What is it? We don't know. Mm. But he finds the solution on his own little project while he's at work. Oh, no. And so uh, intellectual property so, rights. Exactly. Oh so, no, that's con- oh no. So what he does Ooh. is he he erases it all and tries to do it again, but it can't duplicate it. No, he downloads it, deletes everything, and uploads it all into one of these children that gets shipped out to the United States. Oh no. Yes, and the child awakens, sees the parents, and doesn't. So we don't know what's going on. Oh so, no. But. It looks really cool. I, that I, seems interesting. Well, I'm I'm having like thoughts about shoot, Dad. I can't remember what the movie was. There I was a movie it. called AI. There was a no, movie called that's AI. Not that movie. It was this girl. She had giant eyeballs, and she was like half. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Alita: Battle Angel. Yeah, that one. Mm-hmm. That was a good movie. I liked it. I watched that during quarantine while I was finishing knitting a sweater. Okay. I have go. a visceral you, memory quarantine. about it. That's what I'm thinking about, about this. And I liked that movie. I was here for it. Uh, my favorite number one of the of the week is Blue, The Blue Flame, number one by, by Vault. Vault Comics. Mm-hmm. And this is basically a superhero team. Well, it starts out as a superhero team b- based in Milwaukee, but they don't have really any powers. <laughs> They're just like regular people, sort of like from the movie Kick Bleep. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Um, but this guy, the blue flame is a heating and air conditioning guy works on oh, boilers. I love that. Like how, uh, like, yeah, like the pilot light, like my dad. Well, no, like the blue flame is a little yes, pilot light. Exactly. So what happens is this book takes place in two different spots. One is on earth and one's up in space. He's in space somehow flying around, gets captured. It falls back and forth between these. And Uh-oh. then he's back and then he's on on Earth and he's with his other people in the group. There's like different people in the group. Mm. There's like five or six of them. And they're like going to like a mall to sign autographs just mm. for sign autographs. Well, someone comes in. Sh- terrorist like shoots up the place. Oh, no. And then it falls back into space and you find out that the blue flame is being put on trial in space. Space for, trial for humanity, like all of humanity. Remember how oh, Q like did Q. this in Farpoint Station? Me and you had the exact same thought at the exact same I was time. Like, oh. But they're like, "Do you understand you?" And then and then he opens his eyes and he's like, he's like on life support and he's like, "I have to save the world" or something like that. And oh, like, wow. so I don't know what's going on. 
That sounds really interesting, though. I, I'm going to continue getting this one. I don't. I, I'm not for sure about the. That's my number one of the. That's my number one of the week. Okay, what's okay, your my, book of the week? What no, no, is no your I still got of, two. I still oh. got one from DC, one from Marvel. Okay, okay, um, okay, 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 okay. My other Marvel favorite is, of course, issue three of Beta Ray Bill. Oh, you and Beta Ray Bill right now. I'm here it for it. It's fantastic. If you, gosh, it's great. It's like a. Let's like looking at a heavy metal record album from the '70s or '80s. The art in it is fantastic. The story is good. The whole thing about his ship being in love with him now that she's sentient and um, it's just really cool. Okay. I know that's weird. That's all. But see, and here's a good thing about it. Are you ready? Beta Ray Bill's only five issues. So I'm like, well, if I can just do two more, it drops off my list. Right. Speaking of something that's going to drop off my list, this is issue 10 of 12 strange adventures. We had briefly talked about strange adventures. Yes. By DC. Because I had talked to you about Mr. Terrific being the one trying to do the um, detective work, finding out how Adam Strange. Anyway, yes. It's, yes. So you come to find out that I think his wife has been behind this all along. Oh, no. All along. Does she hate him? Why? No, she's trying to save her planet. She, oh. in trying to save her planet, this is just my thought. In trying to save her planet, she basically offers this other alien race Earth. Oh. And as a down payment, she allows them to keep her daughter, who she told Adam Strange, her husband, is killed by them. Unacceptable behavior. So, Unacceptable behavior. Yeah. I'm yelling. Anyway. I'm yelling about you. Don't, you don't. Yeah. So Strange Adventures. This is by Tom uh, King. In his day. books. It takes 12 issues before you can understand what they're all about. And so I've got two more. Well, that's, that's kind of thing is fun, though, right? Yeah. It can be an adventure. It is. It's a strange adventure. It's what I just said. So my book of, book of the, the week. week, Two Moons, issue four by Image Comics. This is the comic book about the American Indian, the mm. Native American Indian in Civil War times who can see the demons. Yes. And, um, We've talked about this before. Right. This is, a, and again, this is just five issues. So next time this book comes out, it falls off my list. Yeah. See, it's, which is good because it's a complete story. And um, so they bring him back. They put him in jail to be hung. <gasps> and they put him in jail next to another guy's in jail. And that's a demon. You could see him. Nobody else can. Oh, no. But what happens is some happens like the evil comes out and the people that are there with him can now see them too. So now <gasps> they're like. Yeah. Oh no! So, oh yeah! This is a great yeah. story, but it's a horror story. Okay. Well, what yeah. I'm learning from our time mm -hmm. reading trade paperbacks, Dad, mm -hmm. is that they seem to be the best art and some of the best stories. Well, I think we need to do something like uh, Seek Seven Secrets. That's not. That's a fun one. I'm down. That's, and that can. I want to. I want to read that, and I want to read Wind, and I want to read. Uh, homesick pilots homesick pilots yeah i agree those are three good ones those if anybody's not reading those you should read, read those and, and they're coming the, out the next like paperbacks the next issue of wind came out so <gasps> i want to read wind i want to read and it's really it. good oh and it's pride month so that will be a fun thing to read there you go we could do that so that's my comic books so there you go i'm 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 liking i'm month, liking this months. i'm liking this two from marvel two from dc Two of your favorites from another, and then a book of a week. I like that. I like I'm that I'm going to have to because it gets too many if I go any other way. It's just too overwhelming. I have, it, I have my list for awesome. our blurb. So we watched a movie. Yeah, we did. And all kind I, of together. I was, I was just depressed what, what watching movie? the movie. Why Incredibles 2. Why did that Because I keep thinking, watching Incredibles 2, how good of a – Fantastic Four movie, which of the <laughs> incredible movies would have been. I am such a fan. I mean, I'm sitting there watching Elastigirl going, Mr. Fantastic could do that. Why in the world aren't they doing that? You know, Ben Grimm. I mean, so we watched Incredibles 2. Yes. Um, we, we were at, and when Hannah moved, we uh, had a hotel room for one night and it was mm -hmm. on and we watched part of it and then i finished it here at home and i say and finished it at her place yeah so um this movie is just so good all i want to be is a good dad 
He, we love these movies. We, okay. Give Incredibles, the premise first. Okay. Per- so Incredibles you, 2. Incredibles 1. Hold on. I'm going to get, forget it. Just hold on. So, <laughs> and at the end of the first Incredibles <laughs> movie, when they all get their power, <laughs> the guy that comes up out of the ground is the Underminer. Is and everybody Fantastic knows. Four? And it's the freaking mole man from the first (laughs) issue of Fantastic Four. All right, I'm done. I'm done with my Fantastic Four rant. Just let Brad Bird write the Fantastic Four One of my favorite things. Well, here's the thing, Dad. I remember from my childhood, because the first movie came out 17 years ago, at this point, 18 or 19 years ago. Like, it came out. It can't even come out. That it long it was ago. 17 years from when it came out to when I think the 17 or 15. Yeah. All right. We'll keep going. Well, here I'm gonna Google it. No, no, don't Google it. You tell the deal. I'll Google. Incredibles it. one came out in 2004. And Incredibles well, came out two 2018. Came out in 2018. So 14 <gasps> years. Excuse 14 me. 14 years. Wow. I was off by three years, but it was 14. 14 years. And I've we been griping for, for since 2004 for a in good, 2000, I mean, for In 2004, I went off. For a good Fantastic Four movie. And then every time a Fantastic movie, Four movie comes out, I go off. And then when the <laughs> second one comes out, I go off. And then when we rewatch it, I go off. Anyway. Dad. Incredibles 2, give us you, a man. lowdown. We're predictable. So Incredibles 1, it follows um, Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible. They get married. They have children. Um after they get married, before they have children, Incredibles become illegal. Illegal, correct. It, it, like, in, not Incredibles, but, like, superheroes, superheroes. become illegal. Mm-hmm. And so right. in the first movie, uh, Mr. They Incredible... superheroes. They, like, redeem superheroes, but they're still illegal. Correct. At this point. Right. The second movie starts off, and they became, like, they were... The family unit becomes more of a unit... In the, in the end of the first movie, they are more right. like learning how to rely yes. on each other, like come into their own strengths as individuals Correct. and as a family unit. And they support each other in their individuality. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, that's a great way to say it, Dad. And so the second movie is them trying to make superheroes legal again. Like um, there's a, um, a, a company Dev wanting Tech. to do that. DevTech wanting to do that. Correct. DevTech wants to make superheroes Which is a brother and sister. Again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Winston. I don't know. And they decide as the picture, as the face, to use Elastigirl and not Mr. Incredible. Because which means her he becomes numbers are her numbers higher. are better. Her she better. destroys less mm-hmm. things. They destroy less things. <laughs> and so Mr. Incredible becomes stay at home. Bob becomes a stay at home dad with um, a girl in high school. A high school. A high school like a f- girl going on her first date, a middle schooler who's learning a new way to do math, and a, and a baby who, who can't hasn't, speak. Who, who at that point, they don't think has any superpowers yet. But he clearly does at the end of the first movie. But they didn't see that. They we never did. saw that. We saw it, but oh, the parents, the family didn't right. know it. The family didn't know it. Right. And so, so it's, Jack Jack, which, the, by the way, is... Franklin Richards, who is one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> and Jack Jack is multiple powerful. He anyway. can do everything. Jack Jack can do everything. Jack Jack, laser eyes. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. So what happens is you come to find out that um, the the villain's name is Screen Slaver because if you mm-hmm. look at a screen, you become enslaved and they you can make you do whatever you want. It. Yeah, you get like hypnotized. And, um, really, the whole entire purpose is a setup to set up the superheroes. Superheroes so that they so never that will be become illegal, legal for legal again. all time. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. So the worst part of the movie, I'm just going to say that right off the bat, is the villain. Because I thought her reason for being the villain was lame they, they just was lame i and i get it i get it too but still i mean but the thing there was is no they don't know everything setup. because the reason that gazer beam and the other guy had been that was they the couldn't answer movie. was because from the first movie because they were taken by syndrome yeah okay that's true because what happens in this is that her pa- her father passes away won't go into the safe room because he believes in superheroes to come to come save them. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. I thought she was lame. I don't know. I mean, the screenplay. All you got to do is take cool. the good. Yeah. 
I got you. Sort of like deceased. You don't want to look at a screen or you become the. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she could not just. Cool. Yeah, she couldn't just enslave. Um, uh, she could enslave anyone who looked at a screen that she was broadcasting through. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, I mean, like I well, the first time I watched it, I was like, I don't know who the bad guy is. I couldn't decide if it was the guy or the girl. I was leaning towards more towards the guy. The girl, oh, no. And then Look at the girl's the girl. eyes. She looks like she's tired all the time. Well, she's in charge of all of the design stuff. Do you know why she's in tired all the time? Because she's looking at a screen all the time. Mm. That's why her eyes are like that. A slave to the screen, Dad. She's a slave to the screen. She's a slave to the screen. The good thing about this movie is we get to see um, a lot of fun family stuff uh, with the pars. That the mom is gone, for. which is a bummer. The mom is gone. Well, the dad was gone the in the first movie. You're right, all the time. Yeah. Um, but the whole thing about you know, most parents are like, oh, I want to be there for my son or daughter's first steps. And basically, they want to be there for when his powers show powers up. Powers show up. And listen, Jag Jack's powers are. With the you raccoon. Name it, he can do it. With the he raccoon. He gets in a battle with a raccoon, the little baby does. <laughs> Jag Jack's a baby and, like, is fighting this raccoon. Well, hilarious. he's, like, watching this old timey movie with his dad. His dad's Who's not. Asleep. His dad is asleep. He's like, this kid will not go to bed. I'm just yeah. going to go to sleep here. And then so he sees a robber, like an old school robber with like the mask, with the mask. on, like yeah. with the stripes. And then mm -hmm. he sees a raccoon and he's like, oh, bad guy. And yes, then he goes it, and, it goes after him outside. Yeah. And you name the power he has it. He becomes the angry, like an angry demon goblin. baby. Demon baby, they call it. They call him um, demon fire. baby. Fire. He multiplies himself. He floats. He can go through things. He makes he himself telekinesis. big. You never realize that. He that happens just once. Yeah. Is that and, what it's um, called? Because he moves, he moves he, the goggles? Yes. He yeah. can move things with his mind. Um, he can become rubber. Yes. And he gets really big at and the end. And he can go to a different dimension. And he can walk yes. through things. Yes. That is so funny. That That's all we know of so far. Um, that whole part, Bob can't handle it. The dad can't handle it. He takes he takes him to Edna Mode, <laughs> who's like doesn't best. do. She's the best. I'm not a babysitter, darling. What does she say about parenthood? Voiced by Brad Bird. Yes, she says something about parenthood. If, if done correctly, it's a heroic effort. Heroic. If done feat. correctly, it's a heroic feat. Done correctly. <laughs> like says. Bob, you can't. <laughs> you yeah. suck, guy. Like, I will not do this. this. And then, and then, oh, that's another thing that Jack Jack can do. He looks at her. And makes and his nose like his hers. No, yes. And uh, when Bob goes back to pick him up and and she's like got her cigarette and he's and Jack Jack's got his uh, lollipop. lollipop. And then she, she's just like walking she takes like him up and walks and, and holds <laughs> his blah, blah, blah. <laughs> he puts his hand on the thing. He looks at his eyes and then he speaks and goes, yeah, like you said, blah, 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 blah. And it's like voice recognition. <laughs> and it opens. Oh, there's part. a short. We didn't watch it, but if you're like, what listening to us talk about this, and you're like, the only cool thing about that that you're talking about, uh, sis and big pops is Edna and Jack Jack. Well, you can go watch a short of Edna babysitting Jack Jack and what ensues. Oh, I can't wow. wait! I didn't watch it. I have to watch it's it. It's hysterical. I love that. That was great. And um, uh, Bob accidentally uh, mind swipe. They, they accidentally erased. Tony, Violet's boyfriend's memory. <laughs> who is supposed to be Steve Jobs? Oh, really? His like character design is based off of Steve Jobs. I can because... see that with the glasses and the turtleneck. And yeah, and the the hair. Yeah, because they Anna talk mentioned about something that neat in... to me um, while we were watching the movie. What? At one point, um, uh, Elastigirl calls home to see how everyone's doing. She's in a, a hotel, and there's mm. a piece of piece of art behind her. Yeah. And it's like abstract art. It shows like four pieces uh, on one side and they gradually go down in size. And then one piece like middle size way off on the other side. And that represents her being separated from her family. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. The art design in this is extremely clever and is very it's good. Pixar. What do you Pixar expect? Pixar is phenomenal. But you Pixar know what? Is next I don't know level. that I've watched much Pixar since they got bought by... That's not Disney. true. We've watched all of them. No, I watched Soul. That's it. And I, I was okay with it. I didn't think it was watched, great. Like isn't some Coco Pixar? Was. Yeah, is that owned by Disney too? Yeah. 
I mean, was that a Disney owned when it came out? I think don't, so. Well, I don't know. Dad's like, I, don't Google it, Hannah. I'm Googling I know. It. You and the f- Google. You either Google TikTokers or something. Excuse you? You do. I do. I love it. Anyway. Uh, I, Monsters University was good. Coco was good. Incredibles 2 was good. Onward was phenomenal. Oh, yeah. I take that back. I did like Onward. All right. So take it back. Take it back now, y'all. One Toy hop, Story two 4 times. was eh. Like, be done Uh-oh. with the Toy Story movies, Toy man. Story 4 was... F- I love Toy Story 4. But you got to realize it's... You got to let Buzz and Woody go. Yeah, you just got to yeah. let... You got to... We got to be done with Toy Story movies, man. We just got to let that be finished. I don't think so. I, remember I think the they're f- going to keep coming. And they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, <laughs> and they don't stop coming, and they don't... Well, they're doing but Lightyear, like- and that's going to be cool. I liked in uh, Incredibles 2 that we get some new characters. That, I, listen, Boyd, that girl, that's a bad. I love a, that. That's a great cool power. power. And that's she a really cool had it down. Power, man. There she the knew end, how to Boyd, use it. Uh, the Void character created um, portals, a transportation portal, sort of like Blink in mm-hmm. the X-Men. Yeah. Um, and um, so you would go in and come out, go in and come out same place or whatever, mm-hmm. or a different place. Dash or running. Dash, Dash just going, is going through the, the portal place the same things like wait a minute but at the end when Elastigirl's girl's trying to save uh, someone mm-hmm. at the end and void is like trying to save her because they're getting ready to hit the ground and she would hit a she would throw a portal and catch her and then she would come back down and mm-hmm. do it again and do it again and then she's like make a parachute make a parachute she's trying to will her to create a parachute and she does it and as she does it she she a thing and she voids her somewhere else. Yeah. Onto the boat. The, those people's powers were really cool. Even the Except old guy throwing puke. reflux. That was gross. That wasn't gross. That was, it, mean, was it was gross. The funny thing was he was an older dude. I like that. No, it was cool that he was an older guy. It was interesting because they had like people that looked like people, but people that looked like not yes. people. I didn't like the owl dude where his head would turn around. Creepy. That was creepy. That was creepy. That was creepy. All right. Anyway, I liked this movie. I do too. It's PG. I just, the Incredible if you've movies not are just really the incredible good. Incredible movies. Um, there is a little bit of apparel, um, and I don't mean clothing, because but there is clothing. They do That's all wear clothes. Apparel. And uh, Edna Mode is exclusive. Uh, costume exclusive designer. designer. Exclusivity <laughs> of Elastic Girl. For always and eternity, Dad. Eternity and Frozone. He's back in it. Samuel L. Jackson's back in it too. <laughs> and his wife's hollering at him again. Honey, from the, where's my super suit? Why do you need to know? It's for the greater good. I am the... your wife. <laughs> That's from the first movie. Go back and watch the incredible movies. They're both on Disney they're Plus. They're really good. If you don't have them, ask. You can borrow ours. <laughs> because, like I said, they're the best Fantastic Four movies ever made. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I give it. I'd give it five give out of five for sure. Five Jack Jacks. Sure. Five Jack Jacks. We don't need five Jack Jacks. Yeah, we do. Perhaps, so perhaps five Incredibles. Oh, that was awesome too. We didn't even talk about the Incredible. Dope. The Incredible Bill Mobile. Incredible Bill. Anyway, the car was awesome. I'd hate to have been the guy that bought it. <laughs> Jack, Jack, no. Dash with his hand behind his back just push, pushes. Yes, summon. summoned. I was like, <laughs> the car's coming. I can't I'm wait. Like, I'm like, yes. Here we go. I'm like screaming in my house by myself. Like, this is because, so good. Oh, and I love Dashes. He goes, oh. <laughs> He goes, yeah, baby. He says, yeah, baby, a lot. But I think the reason he says that is because his dad says that. Oh, really? I never noticed. He just wants to be his dad. And Bob Parr, he struggles through all of it, and he says, all I want to do is be a good dad. He does. He just wants to be a good daddy. And he sleeps for 17 hours straight. The kids let him sleep for 17 hours straight. (laughs) <laughs> all right his, Hannah, his eyes just get progressively more yes, and more that tired is so <laughs> tired he looked like the guy the chick who was the screen slaver at the end of it daddy so hannah and i read another uh, trade paperback that is available for free mm-hmm. on amazon prime yes and that's probably why we're doing most of these is because they're free and yeah we can i was read good them. though this was the Immortal Hulk. We read like the first eight ten. to ten issues ten. of the Immortal Easy. Hulk. The thing about the Immortal Hulk is I think they're about on issue 50. This Immortal Hulk run will end. Really? And, um, the, a new, a new um, writer 
I believe is taking over. Um, so we read the first so many issues of the immortal Hulk. And this was in 2018 voted um, like um, here's the vulture paste magazine, GameSpot, the AV club, polygon, the beast comic book, Herald wired horror talks, comicbook.com, io9 newsarama hollywood reporter all voted it the best best of 2018 really is what we read they voted it the best horror uh, magazine again so this is horror comics horror comic a lot of what i would call body dysmorphia would you call it that yeah not so much here until it well wait it really Uh, gets wonderfied as you go on yeah there was one issue we read where they had him all cut up into pieces. That made me think of Swamp Thing. Yes, me too. Me too. It felt very Swamp Thing to me. Yeah. So this follows the uh, Incredible Hulk, who then realizes, he's beginning to realize, I can't die. What What does that do to you, do you think? When it has something to do with the green door. Did you catch that? Yeah, which again, felt very much like Swamp Thing. Oh, just because of the word the green. Well, because there was this, like, thing that was within him that was calling to him and that he felt the need to protect in some way. Mm -hmm. Except for the Hulk, I don't think he needs to protect the Green Door. I think he needs to protect humanity from the Green Door. Yeah. Uh, I think before this is over, we still don't know who's in control of the Green Door yet. Really? Yeah, we thought it was the leader, which is the bad guy from the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and major villain, but it in the leader. We thought it might be his father's conscience. Yes, because in the comic, it seems like it's his dad. His dad is evil. Me, Which is me, so me, sad, me. man. Yep. Oh, that made me um, so sad that he was like punching some guy and was like, this is my dad. I'm like, oh no, I want yeah. you to have a good relationship with your dad. That's a formative relationship. There, A lot has happened, um, to be honest, I had never read these first issues. Really? I have them. Yes, because I started collecting the Immortal Hawk at issue 17. Interesting. Um, I went back and purchased them all. Okay, and didn't read them? And didn't read them. Interesting. You just um, wanted the, 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 the. Huh? I get that, though. I get wanting the collection. Yeah, I, get I did. I, get I wanted it. the whole collection. I, I get did. it. And um, so I went back and read these, and I was like, I should have done that a long time ago because it makes what I'm reading Does now make a lot more sense. A lot more sense. Um, the issue with if you f- hop into the Incredible Hulk, the Immortal Hulk, right now, it's it's hard. Um, it's these it's, were they got progressively again weirder. Yes, they weirder like the first weirder. couple ones. I was like, okay, yeah, I can jive with this. Like this is this makes sense to me. It's a little bit weird, but I'm here for it. And then it mm-hmm. just kept getting weirder and weirder. And then we got the Avengers in there, and I was like, oh no, this is not good. No, <laughs> this is not good. No. no, he doesn't need. He can he can do whatever. He's this bad because this the Hulk is, is immortal. Not good. Yeah. Um, and them them being all like. It's it's the night time. You know that he's in charge at night. I'm like Yeah, because originally what? that's what Stop happened. It. Originally that's what would happen. Um Bruce Banner uh would be him during the day and the Hulk at night. Um And apparently that's... he had like some like significant head trauma and that 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 makes him think that now the Hulk is smarter than him. Well, okay. So he has dissociative identity disorder interesting straight up so you think he has um, multiple person like you think oh like, there i don't think at all is a diff- multiple personality of multiple his? personality yes and i had never thought of that before until um last year there was um a carnage not king in black are we are we talking about fist of conchu no 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 i'm talking about the incredible hulk Moon Knight. Okay. We did talk about Moon Knight, but last year there was a, it was called Absolute Carnage. Yeah. Which, which is now and, a thing. Right. So what happens is Venom tried to join. I, we talked about this. Yes. With and the said, Hulk, We are Hulk. With the Hulk instead of We are Venom. And there was an issue that came out called, 
it was Immortal Hulk. It was a one shot, absolute carnage, Immortal Hulk issue one. Mm. And it is, it is the comic book takes place in the man in like in a manner of like two seconds. But what happens is oh, and it's, it's the internal dialogue. With it's the Venom internal and Hulk. dialogue with all of the Hulks, all of the Hulks personalities. What? Like there's Bruce Banner talking to Joe Fix It, talking to the Red Hawk, talking to this Hawk, and they all are gonna vote on whether they're gonna let this other personality let in. Carnage? No. Or Venom. let Venom. Yeah. Ooh. We all we have we're gonna take a vote. And I should have got that issue because it's like the the vote is like three to two with two abstaining or something like that. You can abstain to vote? Yeah. Yeah, but hey, people do it all the time. They'd abstain by not being there or not showing up or whatever, not coming okay. to the discussion. But it made it sound like Bruce Banner, the Hulk, had like Weird. eight or nine personalities. That's really interesting. And, of course, they vote to allow Venom in. Mm -hmm. And that's because when they say, we, we are, are Hulk. Hulk instead of we are Venom, which is what he would say because the Hulk is... Interesting. Yeah. So, the hmm. this is so yeah. This is a comic book that, if you're going to hop into, I would hop into it um, from the beginning. I would read the beginning, and it's free on Amazon Prime if you have Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. If not, I'm sure you could find the trade somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but if you got Amazon Prime, do that. Yeah, the man. art is gorgeous. The art is very um, beautiful. And as it progresses from the issues that I started weirder collecting. Weirder and weirder. Yes. And the body horror. Like yes. his arms and faces. And and the red thing that he fights with the spine. Yeah. Blah. Oh, and he fights. Yeah, because he fights um, the absorbing man. Blah. Remember the absorbing man? It was gross. The guy with the ball and chain that absorbs stuff. Yeah, it was. Do you awful. remember him from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? He was what in season? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. What season? Um, Towards the end. Because like I like, didn't finish towards the end. Cause I it wasn't the last two or three. That, it was before know, they went know, to outer space. You, oh. It was before they went into outer space. I didn't watch when they were in the computer simulation because I knew it was going to make me angry. Oh. And I didn't watch Ava either because I knew was, she was going to make me angry. Too, it was around so that time. I didn't watch it. It was around I that time. I skipped it. Yeah. Which With I shouldn't have because man. now Fitz has like this... <clears throat> He needs to go to therapy. He is drama. He needs to go to therapy. Yeah, they all need. Everybody I needs mean, to go to therapy. Yeah. I, I mean, said, I think that there would be a good comic book where we take all the comic book characters with all these uh, mental illnesses that like are really, and they are their own superhero team. It would be interesting. It would be villains and superheroes. Hmm. So I was thinking like Iron Fist, not Iron Fist, but Moon Knight, the Hulk, um, Typhoid Legion? Mary, she has a split personality. Legion, exactly. Mad Max, Mad Maximus, who is uh, Mad? Uh, you said Mad Max, and I was I like, know. wrong His name franchise, Maximus. my guy. It's Maximus, Maximus the Mad. Um, yeah, and be oh, led that, by that makes me sad. By Leonard Sampson, who's Doctor Sampson, who's a psycho, who's a psychologist, psychiatrist that is also gamma positive. He's hmm. also, yeah. Anyway, interesting. I know that's that's my comic I don't know. book. So if anybody I, would like to me to throw that uh, pitch out there to you, Marvel. Yeah, the the HBO executives that watch the six HBO execs be, that listen Disney to Plus. this. this would be I mean, Disney Plus. they could come up with their own people that are the exact same, but that are just a little bit different. They already have. It's called that's... the, the um, Doom Patrol. <laughs> that I've seen. I I hate to mention that I love that show, but. I feel like I should take a shower every time I watch it. <laughs> oh, gosh. And I don't know when they're going to come out with another season. Hmm, it funny. is so good. Funny, funny, anyway. funny. I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was strange. Um, oh, my it's goodness. It's not something you the would dad, read. The dad. Which of dad? the, the dad? son. Tell the the chain. About. The grief chain. And people would go to grieve their people. And because the sun had gamma radiation, the yes. people would then die. But the dad knew it. And the dad knew it. And so Hulk just left him there under rubble? What? Yeah, that was oh, bad. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. There's actually a new comic book coming out. 
um, by the guy who wrote who writes this currently, Al Ewing, called okay. Gamma Flight, which is um, Didn't they, they were they talked about that in the first ten. I read about yeah. Gamma Flight. Mm-hmm. It's well, Gamma, a, yeah, yeah. Gamma Flight originally was a spinoff of an X Men comic, so X Men. Um, were the mutants here. And then there was mm. Alpha Flight, which were a, a Canadian superhero team. Yes, because and, what's his name was on that. And then he was on Gamma Flight. Puck. And um, Walter Langowski, who is Sasquatch. Yes. Yeah, Puck is the smaller guy. I was mm-hmm. talking about Sasquatch. And Sasquatch, right. Walter Langowski. And um, yes, so... That's where Gamma Flight originated from, but now Gamma Flight is like a group that goes after gamma irradiated creatures mm-hmm. or people. Well, that or seems to be what this, what that, which was what they were supposed to be based on right. the first ten that we read. Correct. Yeah, but their their part in the book is really stepped up quite a bit here recently. Mm. So cool. Know. Yeah. I don't know, man. It was it was interesting. I'm I'm and didn't hate reading it. I enjoyed reading it. And I didn't stop reading it. I haven't They're done saying that, that yet. this is probably the best Hulk run of all time. I really liked the one that we that. read, the Maestro. Oh, Future Imperfect. I really liked yeah. that. Gotcha. Yeah, it's not creepy like this. Yeah, this I like is that creepy. better than this. I think. Yeah. Well, next week we're not reading a horror comic. We're gonna are read we, a are fun we doing one. Some, are we doing something next week? Let's do a Tuesday night like this. Okay, dope. I'm down. Bring yeah, it, prime bring time. It on. Pop prime time. Bring it on. So that's all I got. Queens. Thanks, folks. Anybody yeah. who made it to the end, share, rate, and review with seventeen stars. Seven. If there are no seven, I'm just kidding. I don't. If even there know are no seventeen star option, then rate and review it five, three times with five stars <laughs> on three different <laughs> accounts, and that way we'll have three more downloads. You were hysterical. Um, if you're going to rate and review negatively, then we don't want to hear from you. Oh well. Daddy. Oh, I would love to hear, um, you know, just, wait. Well, hey, this is what I think would be cool if you guys did. Like, and people have done that. People said, hey, you guys should read um, the Invincible comic book and talk about it. And, and guess what? We did. We, we did. We did it. Tell us so, what you'd like for us to read and yeah, we'll talk we'd about love it. To. Better or off. movies. Yeah. Uh, I love movies. We won't movies. see. There's some movies I won't see. So if you send me something, I'm going, I ain't watching that. Don't feel, don't feel bad. I'm not going to yuck someone else's yum. That's something I heard. Have you ever heard that before? Yes, Daddy. Oh, sorry. I thought I, I have was heard like that. All right. No, no. Why? Why did you deflate like that? I've heard I'm that. I've heard that saying I'm, before. It's because I'm in a you low chair. Went, I'm trying went, to sit up straight went, the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to sit up straight too. My shoulders are hurting. Uh, well. Okay. End roll. roll. Okay, friends, thank you so much for listening. Hey, our art is created by Nathan Dean Turner. He is my little brother, dad's son. He did it in Microsoft Paint. He's a phenomenal artiste. Thanks for doing that for us, bud. Our theme music is created by Brockwell Nason. Soon, soon to, have to a be wife. married. Soon to what? be married guy. Uh, Woo woo. Congratulations love to and you, my marriage, dear. Marriage, love. And marriage. Anyway. <laughs> um, our YouTube channel is maintained by the dear Pops. He's making a face. I might not have downloaded <laughs> anything in a while. We only have like <laughs> one person watch it. So <laughs> and um, if it's supposed I to edit, rain tomorrow, I'll do it. I edit and upload the podcast. Um, we are so glad for you all yes. to hang out with us. We enjoy chit chat with each other and having you all hang hang out. With us, wherever it is, whatever it is you're doing, my friends, I hope you're having a good A great time. Yeah. We love you guys. Yes. Have a great rest of the day and or night. We don't and know. That's what you say. You just time. Have a good time. Or you could be in like Alaska you're in a where pocket it's like. dimension and there is no time where it is that you are. Oh, gosh. Maybe. Don't know how this time. broadcast got there if you're in a pocket dimension. Because we are interdimensional. <laughs> <laughs> we are we are interdimensional just like jack jack we're in the <laughs> goes on forever it's string theory i've learned in the future how to put our podcast through its string theory and it's like floating through the internet you are hysterical internet. okay universe friends Black hole. we'll see ya bye, bye. And our Facebook friends, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Yeah, guys. Um, Ladies. Peace. Yeah. We'll see you all later, Gator. Bye-bye.